What's up? This your boy John O with this week's rant. With no further delay, let's jump right into it. People in Los Angeles that cross the street get on my fucking nerve because they think they own the street. I get sick of seeing people in LA cross the street while they're on their phone texting. Like, I ain't got no fucking way to go. Sometimes I really want to get out my car and kick the shit out of somebody who's crossing the street while they on their phone. Especially in the city of Los Angeles. Speaking of being in Los Angeles, I've noticed this on a couple of people's license plates. They have Kobe Bryant's name on there. What kind of shit is that? If the car doesn't belong to Kobe Bryant, why would you have Kobe's name and number on your plates? Are you that much of a dick rider? The nigga ain't even playing no more. You do know that. Wendy Williams asked us to please give her family space during this recent divorce situation she got going on. How fucking crazy is that when Wendy Williams asks you to stay out of her business? Bitch, how you doing? We want to know all the tea. I don't know him personally, but every time I see him in interviews, DJ Envy acts a little bit like a bitch. Do you remember the rappers Ahmad and Skilo? If you ever listen to them with your eyes closed, those niggas sound exactly alike. Fellas, when is the last time you brought a pair of matching pajamas? Old people should not be allowed to drive. Why the fuck do they always seem like they're driving in the middle of the fucking road. Old people, at some point, put the keys down. When superheroes get their suits dirty, who cleans them? Jesse L. Martin on The Flash is starting to remind me of LL Cool J where he don't take off his hat. Something going on with Jesse's head. I don't know if his hairline is just too far pushed back or whatever. He's definitely got the hatfish going on right now. Is Keith Sweat married? Since Nipsey Hussle's death, it seems that everybody is an expert on his music now. Two, two months ago, nobody couldn't tell you a song about Nipsey Hussle. Now everybody wants to tell me about Nipsey Hussle. I truly think it's time for a new Bruno Mars album. I don't know if y'all seen this in the news a couple weeks ago, but if this ain't, if this ain't irony at its best, or the universe just showing you sometimes you fuck up, there was an animal poacher who was out in the wild who wound up getting killed by animals. He got crushed by an elephant and eaten by a lion. That's the universe, man. Kodak Black is just a dumbass. When are black people gonna stop supporting these brands that post ads for racist things? The Gucci ads or the H&M ads, but yet black people constantly still go out and buy their stuff. There's so many black young entrepreneurs who are making clothes these days that you could go and support but you'd rather go put your money into Gucci or Prada or whoever else that constantly does these stupid ass racist ads and then come back and say, oh, we're sorry we didn't realize. They realized it. They know what the fuck they're doing. Yet, there are still black people out there supporting these brands. What does that say about you? Whatever happened to that old lady that used to be at the Apollo grabbing on everybody in the front row. Is she still alive? Black people are making a mark in country music these days. Shout out to Lil Nas X and Jimmy Allen for having country music by black folks. Now let me get it, don't get it twisted. Black folks have been doing country music for a long time. <laughs> that, that's not what I'm talking about. But there's a resurgence of black folks doing country music. I want to point out something about Lil Nas X, though. Where's your creativity, brother? You couldn't come up with a better name than Lil Nas X, Lil Wayne, 
Nas and DMX. You just mix them all and say, fuck it, I'm not gonna do rap music, I'm gonna do country music. Daddy. Interesting. Daddy. For a country artist, I feel like you could have came up with a better name, man. That's if you even a country artist. I don't know what you are, but you're doing, you're rapping about tractors and, and, and cowboy boots, so I'm assuming that's country music. Daddy. But shout out to you, nonetheless. We gotta talk about the Avengers and we gotta talk about Game of Thrones. I seen the Avengers. I thought it was an incredible movie, very good. If you haven't seen it, I'm not one of those people, I know it's, it's, it's probably three weeks in already. If you haven't seen it, I don't know what the hell's wrong with you. But uh, I'm still not gonna spoil it. If Iron Man dies, Black Widow dies, and Captain America <laughs> grows old, <laughs> all right? And he retires. As far as Game of Thrones goes, I don't watch the show, so I don't know what the fuck is going on. Uh, so shout out to all you Game of Thrones fans. I'm not interested in it at all. And finally, rest in peace to my man, John Singleton. Uh, yesterday, uh, when you're seeing this, yesterday, yesterday uh, was his funeral. Uh, I want to big up John Singleton. Now, let me, let me, let me say this. And this is not to spit any uh, bad thing on anybody's name or anything like this. But the first encounter that I had with John Singleton wasn't the greatest. <laughs> Anytime after that, it was good. Um... Uh, I want to say though he was a, definitely a pioneer in black cinema and he, he did a lot of things to help advance the cause in black cinema so he definitely will be missed but I'm going to tell y'all my story <laughs> right now I had just moved here from, from New York and I was in the club and I'm going to chalk it up to him probably having a drink or two, so that's what I'm gonna chalk it up to. I'm only doing that because because that's the right thing to do. Um, but I was in the club with him, and this was right before he was he was casting for Baby Boy. And I was in the club, it was me, my friend Evan, and, my, and at the time, guy Kareem I used to hang out with. And, and a dude that was a friend of Kareem's. And we seen John Singleton in the club, and I went up to him, and he was with some other guy. And I was like, hey man, I know this is not the right place or the time, and uh, but I would really love to know who's doing the casting for your new movie, Baby Boy. And he looked me dead in the face. And he was like, you know what, man? This ain't the right place or the time. And he just walked away. And I was like, who the fuck does he think he is? Now, let me just say, I had just got from New York. I was on some bullshit myself. You know, I was real, but I felt I came about the, the come up on him very respectfully. Years later, I run into him again. And I tell him that story. And he laughed his ass off. He was like, yo, man. I don't even remember that shit happening. <laughs> and uh, if it did, I apologize. I probably had a couple of drinks in me that night. It is what it is. I say this. I say all that to say this, man. Never judge a book by the first cover, uh, because for a long point of time, I was like, man, I ain't fucking with John Singleton. I wouldn't even go see any of his movies, which is a lie. I did go spend money to support, but needless to say, I felt that that uh, the fact that we we met later down in life and he he kind of apologized. Not that he really needed to, but he did um, showed how big a man he was um, and he is definitely going to be missed so rest in peace to my man John Singleton this has been this week's rant with your boy John O make sure you don't do something say something and let me see something that ends your ass up on this list next time I'm going to be gone for a month because I got some things I got to go do um, Dave is going to be gone too yeah. <laughs> always, always fucking up Dave you can't do me like that. <laughs> when I say your name, you're supposed to be ready with it. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to be gone. Dave's going to be gone. So I'll see y'all when I get back sometime in June. Um, don't be smart, be genius. Make sure you always, 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 always stay gecko. Till the next time.
Hey, what's up? It's John Alley. And if you like what you just saw, then all you have to do is subscribe by pressing the button that's right over my head. And if you want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, bang, they're right there. All right? And if you want to see more of my vlog videos, bam, they're right there. Other than that, y'all have a good day. And I thank y'all so much for watching. The General has spoken. Hey, you sticking your middle finger up at me? Oh. What do you want, man? Yes, it does say Hollywood. Good job. I teach you well. My son knows how to spell. Kate told me to do this. Hey guys, I'm Kate, and I'm the one that told him to do this. Aren't you glad?